Because I escaped from military base from Eritrea and I came to Sudan. I worked on foot uh, for three days and I spent in Sudan more than one year. And uh, from Sudan to Egypt, I came through cars and sometimes boat, especially to cross the Nile. And in Egypt, from the border from Aswan to Cairo, it took me like 16 hours in train. From Cairo till Sinai, I came by car. And from Sinai till Israel, to the border, I came on foot. Near the border, there is fear, there is hope. So these two things was on my mind. It is a journey between death and life. If the border guards, they catch you or they saw you across the border, just they shoot you without any questioning. A lot of friends are dead there. The things that make me to flee from my home. To save my life as a victim of torturing in my country, it is because of the dictator government that ruled my country from the late 1991 till now, torturing his own citizens, and I am one of them. So that's why I flee my homeland. If the government is dictator, it doesn't matter. You are political, religious, or artist. It doesn't matter who you are, because he is fighting for his power. For myself, I have decided for my, by, by myself. Nobody can. My mom, how can mom say to her kid, just go away from this home, go away from this land. It is very hard, but you have to do by yourself, for yourself. You never imagine what feeling I had to my homeland and what feeling I have right now to go back to my country. Almost 10 years, I miss my family, my homeland, all my neighbors, all my friends. So I need to return back as soon as possible if the government is gone away or something changes the country. As a human flesh, I am not happy. I am surviving. As a Christian, I am happy all the day. I got the sun like everybody. I got the air like everybody. So I am happy to that for the God nature. But through the human life, it's crazy.